beloved, there is a, a constancy in the universe, which is love, this energy of creation that is constantly manifesting. And when you modulate that by adding the element of fear and of separation and of shadow, it distorts the light. It creates something that seemingly to be seemingly is other than itself, but yet understand that the shadow is as much of the light as the light is of the shadow. And this whole dimension of duality is merely to give each being a playground to be able to exert one's will and say that, you know, I and the father are not one. And to be able to say, this is my creation. This is my manifestation. This is what I believe. When you want to know what you think, when you want to know what you want, when you want to know what it is that you treasure, that you value, beloveds, look in your life. Look to see that you have manifested within your world exactly what you believe in. And you believe in wars and you believe in turmoil and you believe in fighting and you believe in lies and you believe in <laughs> secrets. Beloved, there are no secrets. Truly, everything is known to you and to everyone else. And you must look to see what it is that you are manufacturing in your world as a play and as a dance between the shadow and the light. But ultimately, beloveds, all of it, every last bit of it is nothing but love. And when you come to the realization that you are indeed responsible for everything that you will create, everything that you have created, everything that you, that, that is created, you will allow yourself to see and allow yourself to know that you have the ability to, shall we say, shift the vibrational frequency of that which is manifesting and allow yourself to manifest something that is closer in alignment with the end game or the goal of all of this, which is to know oneself as a Christ of being. And you ask yourself how to do this. Beloveds, it happens through the breath that takes you into the aspect of the mind where the memories of wholeness remain, where the memories of that you are as God created you, not as you have decided to create, not the relationships that you have manifested and the difficulties that you have in marriages and that you have with children and that you have with jobs and that you have with neighbors fighting over boundaries. Beloved, None of what you have belongs to you. The body that you have does not belong to you. The money that you've accumulated, the goods that you have, the cars that you have, the houses, the children, the families, none of it belongs to you. Everything belongs to God. And you greedily or selfishly hold on to things and say, this is mine, this is mine, this person is mine, this relationship is mine, this circumstance is mine, this animal is mine, this food is mine, this refrigerator. <laughs> this, all of this is yours, beloved. None of it is yours. <laughs> it belongs to God. You have fooled yourselves through an egoic consciousness into thinking that these things are real. They are all ephemeral. This body that you have created is ephemeral, beloveds. And the sooner you let go of any notion that it belongs to you and that it's yours, the moment that you are willing to relinquish the ego's mind hold on thinking that you could lose anything, you will come to understand that you've truly never had anything. You are so busy accomplishing and accumulating this, that, and the other to have you know the stack of golden coins. Beloved, if you understood how quickly the wind the water, the heat, if the earth cracks open and it all falls inside, it's gone. If the wind comes and blows it all away with a tornado or a hurricane, it is gone. If a tidal wave comes and washes it all away, it is gone. If a fire comes and ravishes everything, it melts and it is gone, beloveds. This is the power of God. This is the power of earthly mother that God has created as the divine counterpart. In duality, he gave you everything that you needed and it exists in nature. You do not exist without the combination of the elements of everything that has been created in nature. And beloved, you must understand that it all comes from God, 
from the very source of creation itself. And you are trying to lay claim and say, you know, look at what I made. Look at this child that I made. Look at this family that I made. Look at this country that I built. Look at this, this land that is worth fighting over. And you will drop bombs upon one another and you will shoot one another and you will stab one another and you will maim each other with your words towards what end, beloveds? None of it belongs to anyone except God. You are of God. You belong to God. I belong to God. We all belong to God, beloved. And none of this is real. It is just an incredible architectural game that has been played for ever. And the question becomes, beloved, when are you willing to stop the game? When are you willing to say, <laughs> you say, render unto Caesar what what belongs to Caesar, but beloved, you are at Caesar. You think that there are things that are due you. You think that there are ways that things should be other than the way that you have created them. And you, you will be, you will indulge in being mad at someone and saying, look at what this person do, has done to me. Beloved, no one has done anything to you, save you have done this to yourself. But if you want the true riches of the universe, Understand that there is nothing that belongs to you. And in that moment, beloveds, you have everything. It is the ultimate paradox and the ultimate irony, is it not? Hmm. Surrender all that you have. Be willing to accept the love of God as you never have. For if you had, you would not be where you are. <laughs> I love you. Let these words penetrate. I will speak with you again.